She and I had to drag his body out of the, to the hallway and wait for the freaking ambulance to come. And then he told me that was the best, like, night slash day of his life. Period. <laughs> guys thanks for tuning in to turn on podcast um today's yeah. guest we have fit sid hi guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and turn <laughs> your post notifications on if you're interested in knowing when we upload that was perfect thank you harley king <laughs> how often do you guys upload uh i upload every friday see so make yeah. sure you guys check back on fridays yeah God, you have such a soft but like sexy seductive voice yeah, and i just sound like a gremlin in this microphone <laughs> i feel like it's just because i i don't like to hear myself yell like i'm a yeller in real life especially Yell, in baby. bed no it's not my vibe like normally though but then i catch myself yelling in like normal clips of myself and i'm like no we're not doing that today Sydney. <laughs> like we're just gonna chill live our best lives Damn, <laughs> that's, that's why very... i couldn't absolutely not watch my podcast that we did because i was like dude uh-uh. Nope. There I feel is like no I way. could fall asleep to your voice. Like, it's like some type of, like, ASMR. I actually do ASMR JYs. Oh, my God. And, like, I, I literally do, like, noises that Ryan are, like... Ryan subscribes. Oh, my God. I, lo <laughs> I love ASMR. I go to sleep every single night listening to ASMR. But it's I, not, like, talking ASMR. It's, like... The sounds? Weird fucking sounds. Like, there's this one I listen to. It's called... Literally, it's called... Yeah. It's literally called, like, female <laughs> ASMR. And it's, uh -huh. like, a couple. And they'll take, like, a fucking spatula a pencil tin foil and they just she'll be like okay we're gonna do like a skin test and she'll just oh. wrap him in fucking tin foil him like, yeah him dang she does everything to him but it's like the sounds that i'm like yeah there's this one on tiktok out. it's like a plastic like like teeth thing or whatever and they do like orthodontics on it. it's oh, like yeah. fake and it's like the, all the plastic sounds. Ooh. Oh, it's so good. So you do an ASMR JY. How did give me an example? Can you? You want me to? Yeah, <clears throat> I'm ready. Everyone, be quiet. Oh, baby, pull out your cock for me. I want you to stroke it. Think of me. This is fucking hot. Imagine me sucking it. And that's like kind of what I do for like 10 oh my minutes. God. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to sleep like oh <laughs> sleep to that. I'd be fucking catching a boner listening to that, trying to fall asleep. I've always been like that though, because like Damn. I'm on Bumble and Tinder and like Bumble lets you send those like uh audios. And every time I send an audio to a guy, he's like, Damn, I think I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Holy like, shit. I would I'm pass like, away if somebody sent me some shit like that on Bumble. No, but I don't send that. I just talk to them about myself and then like then that's what they say, and Period. I'm like, bro, I'm talking about my dogs. Like, oh my god! Clean. Have you ever thought of uh, like being like a phone sex operator? I've done it a few times on like Sex Panther. Uh huh. Do you use Sex Panther? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I just I have a hard time with like talking to people in real time on video, like video chat, and on um the phone because like I like making videos and then sending it. Right. So like that's why I don't do it. But I mean, I've done like it a few I times. love dirty talk. Mm hmm. And, like, in my past relationships or whatever shit I got going on, if a girl's like, yo, dirty talk, I have to be on the phone with you. But if I'm on FaceTime, like, yeah. so much fucking pressure. Like, yeah. See, I'm the opposite. If I have to, like, sit there and, like, record it, like, JOIs are the hardest thing for me. Because, like, I'm not in the mood to do this. Like, I'm just, like, sitting here staring at myself. And I'm like, this is the worst thing I've ever done. But like, when I'm like in the method? mood, I can be nasty when, like, there's actually stuff going on. But, like, don't you, like, think of, I don't know. I When I dirty talk, like, okay, when I masturbate, you guys, I literally dirty talk myself. Damn. <laughs> like, I've had dudes tell me, like, when we're fucking, they're like, you need to shut the fuck up. You sound like you're in a porno right now, like, before I got into porn. And this dude made me cry. So I literally laid there, and I was just laying there quietly. And I was like, this man didn't want me to, like, tell him I liked it or anything. Like, he was. Shit. Because I think I'm, like, too dirty. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of <laughs> like that, like, in my personal sex life, because porn has fucked me up so much yeah. to like where I don't know if like if me fucking you, I don't mm -hmm. know if that orgasm or that moan is real. Yeah. So my dominant side kicks in. I'm like, can you just shut the fuck up? Well, so this was before <laughs> I did porn, though. Oh, like this dude. So was, you're just a natural born. I'm really vocal. And like 
when I was in college before I got into porn, I literally am like the type of person that will like fuck your back up. And like I know that that like in porn you can't do that. So I've like changed as a person because I used to be like way louder, way crazier. Like my friends came in because I choked this guy out and I had to call my RA because he wanted it. Okay, <laughs> he wanted it. <laughs> he, he literally told me he was like choke me harder, harder. And then suddenly like he just lost motion and, and holy shit yeah and i and this was at asu and i had to call my ra and she and i had to drag his body out of the, to the hallway and wait for the freaking ambulance to come and then he told me that was the best like night slash day of his life period. period and also they asked how his back was bleeding and i was like he was fucking me what do you expect like i looked so bad it's so funny i have a video on my snapchat memories from a year ago today when i was in vegas and this guy was like and how he could like make people pass out, but you like wait right back up, wake right back up again. And so he had this like a video of this man like choking me up against the wall, and I just like fell and just like seized for a second. I woke up and I was like, "Who are you?" Jeez. So you you choked a dude. <laughs> yeah. He passed out. Yeah, and then I had to tell my RA. It was really embarrassing because like I was already known for being the girl that like fucked everyone on my fucking college dorm floor. And you should be. <sighs> and like. Oh. And I was at ASU, and, like, I already had... Uh, Were you guys, like, good afterwards? Like, the, guy the next day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was like, yeah, I'll do it again. I pretty much have never had a dude complain. Because, like, I don't know. I like to please. But, like... Are you, so you're more dominant? Yeah, yeah. And But I'm also, like, I'm controlling in the bedroom. And I like to please, so it's kind of, like, good. Because, like, I'm still doing stuff to make them feel good. But then I also, like, order them around a little bit. So I get what I want. Damn, you know? that's, like... So I got hooked on... Uh, I'm very late on the TV show, but Euphoria, I right? Don't, I won't watch it. I watched one. I watched season two, episode one, and it reminded me too much of my high school experience. Yeah, it's a little triggering. So, yeah. So <laughs> I'll, I'll say two things. One, mm -hmm. in that show, there's a girl that's uh -huh. like, you know, uh, I don't know what the fuck it's, it's labeled at, but she's like treating all these, she's like being like a dick. To all these mm -hmm. guys, the dominatrix kind of thing, but like on he's like calling her like master, and she's like, yeah. Oh, master kitten, whatever, whatever. But is that do you like humiliating guys? I sometimes, yeah, I like to do that on OnlyFans for sure. Here's the thing though, I don't like to humiliate people unless I know they're really, really into it. Like, they have to be super into it. Like, I love kicking men in the balls, but they have to be down. Like, Fuck. I love being able to just like do something that someone else likes. As long mm. as I know it's consensual. Because mm. I think for me, like, consent is so hot. Like, in the bedroom specifically, like, say you and I are fucking. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, can I take your panties fully off? Like, say they're pulled to the side. That, to me, just makes me so much more wet. And then, like, me being like, can I put it in my mouth? Shit. You know what I mean? Like, that is way hotter to me than someone just, like, slamming me against the wall. Like, that's fun, too. But, like it's 10 times more fun when someone's like asking you for permission and you're like, okay, yeah, you I can do like that. Take notes. Yeah, your this voice whole podcast. is so <laughs> hot. <It's laughs> I just like, can't <laughs> think straight. I'm just like, but the, the second All thing, the, the second thing words. on that TV show, I had to keep reminding myself mm -hmm. that like these kids are in high school mm -hmm. and it really is just like, it just was like fucking with me. I was like, man, there's so much sex. There's so much drugs. There's so much fuck shit happening. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, in high school, this shit never fucking happened. It didn't happen. Like, really? I mean, I was I was kind of like a virgin all through high school. I, I was love like virgins. A, I was a loser. I never, nobody fucking fucked with me. Really. And then when I turned eighteen, I lost my virginity in a Victoria's Secret dressing room. What? How did <laughs> that even happen? Because this? back in two thousand and eight, yeah, guys were allowed to go in the dressing room oh. with their girlfriends or whatever the fuck. You would literally like, you'd go in Victoria's <laughs> Secret. And your girl would be like, hey, I'd like to try these things on. And literally the staff would be like, oh, you can go in there with her. Oh my! Yeah. And that's what it was back then. But I like to believe that because guys can't go in there anymore. Like, I, f I fucked that up. Yeah, it was you know? probably you. <laughs> it's the quickest two seconds of my life. But like, you didn't last long. Fuck no. Now Did you just like bend her over in the dressing room? Yeah, she took full advantage of it. She was like, look, I'm going to take it. And then it was like the quietest. Maybe it was like two minutes. But it was quick. See, my first time, it was like four hours of us having sex. And we were both virgins. And, like, he actually just hit me up recently and asked if I could be, like, put him in one of my videos. Shit. <laughs> like, <Four> hours? <clears throat> yeah, we just, he came, like, probably seven times. I came, like, probably like four or five. See, I mean, now my stamina is just fucking long. Because, mm -hmm. again, I just like to say porn fucked it all up. But, like, it takes me a long time to 
get off. Do you I'll, think that it might be because you don't have, like, the special, special chemistry? <clears throat> it's just because, so I'm, like, I guess, like, sadist. I, I get really dominant when yeah. I'm turned on. And when I'm really turned on, I want to fucking do everything. Mm-hmm. And if I don't do everything and she's like, yeah, I'm not about that, then I just instantly will get turned off. Because I just, like, I like pushing the limit. I yeah. like her trying new things. You know? No, I get but that. But unless you give, like, like I can't come d- during sex. Is it oral? Maybe one time. I think one time that's happened. Like oral or feed or what? Just, like, fucking you. If I'm fucking you, I could be fucking you for two hours. I'm not going to nut. But I'm saying what makes you come? Oh, head. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That and just, like, right at the tip of the cock yeah. when you're stroking it. But Fuck. It's so interesting to me that some guys are, like, tip guys. Some guys are shaft guys. Mm-hmm. A lot of them, it's, like, the, I don't know what to call it, like, the ring where they get circumcised. A lot of them are that, those guys. Because it was crazy. I was giving a kid a head, like, a couple weeks ago. And I was just, like, doing my regular, like, ridiculously sloppy toppy. And then I was, like, eventually we were fucking and sucking for so long. I was, like, what can I do to make you come here, dude? He's like, can you just, like, do less to the tip? You could have told me that, like, 25 minutes ago, is your Is your boob out on purpose? Yeah, I can she's pull trying my to show up. it off. <laughs> I can pull my titty if you guys want me to. When did you lose your virginity? I was 15. See, you lost it before me. You lost it after me. I lost it when I was 16 and three-fourths. I was either 15 <laughs> or 16. My virginity story is Well, it's a lot weird. easier for y'all to, like, Fuck. I had a boyfriend at the time. You guys could go into a, any fucking room that you want with a room full of dudes and be like, hey, I'm horny. Who wants to fuck? Yeah, but like, I wanted it to be special. Special, yeah. And then I fucked in like some dudes. Like, it, it was my boyfriend's friend's recent, like, past grandma's house. It was like her bed. I actually lost it in a celebrity's fuck. house, but I have a cease and desist, so I can't say the name anymore. But <laughs> she's very. Will famous. you tell me, like. <clears throat> I'll tell you off camera, yeah. That's fucking lit. But, uh,. I literally lost him on a ski trip and lied to my friends and said I was going to film a YouTube video. Turns out, though, I did film a video, just <laughs> not, uh, not uh, YouTube worthy. Damn. He literally told me, he was like, you look so pretty right now. Can, and I was like, can you show me? And so he just took a video of me sucking his dick. And then I was like, can we film the rest of it? <laughs> That's but awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. so I want to, I only really know you from what I've seen on Twitter. Yeah. And kind of what I was like looking on your page you also do YouTube and but from what I've gathered from all my homework last night mm-hmm. is that you are a OG for OnlyFans. Yeah. Am I right or my Yeah. Yeah. I've been on it since f- 4 years now. Shit. Wait, how old are you? Uh, I'm 22. I had to think about my age for a second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I've been on it literally since I was like all, like a little over 18. Like I think I had my birthday and then I made a premium snap. What and got you into all that? What were you doing before? So I started the I started YouTube when I was twelve, and I did sure. makeup videos. I was sponsored by like Maybelline, L'Oreal, a couple other big companies, and wow. then I got into fashion and lifestyle. And then I got into fitness, and I used to be a bodybuilder, and that was back in high school. So I was like the bitch that would carry on like the jug and like you know, yeah. <laughs> and then. Um, Everyone kind of, like, was obsessed with my body, but I wasn't 18. So, like, I had these, like, probably, like, 80% male following on YouTube that were watching my, like, posing videos and stuff when I was underage. I didn't think about it this way. But then when I did create a premium Snapchat, the first day it wasn't even a premium Snapchat. I just said, like, Venmo me and see what happens. And I made a lot of money. Um, And I did it all through, like, Venmo and I got blocked on Venmo so I I don't have Venmo or any of those things but when I did that it like made me realize how many men were like cash ready so I charged $300 for my premium snapchat and I have hundreds of people on it and um maybe thousands you know but that that week, a Just lot of people. Brag, should... girl. How much you got? Like ten thousand people following you. <clears throat> well, now I have OnlyFans, <laughs> but what I was saying is yeah. like all these people were ready to pay three hundred fucking dollars. Like I was so shocked by that. Yeah. And then like a week later, I started OnlyFans because one of my fans was like, "Hey, like I'd rather you go down OnlyFans. I'll pay you for like your profile there." And I was like, "I don't even know what this is." Like I had no idea what I was getting into. Got into it, and I was like top point oh two percent in that first. Like, now, they didn't have percentage back then, but, like, you know, the money conversion yeah. for it. And then um, I didn't even, like, do anything, like, dirty or anything because I was just posting nudes. Like, I was so innocent. 
then um, it just kind of like evolved like slowly. I started like taking off my underwear, showing my face, right. you know, and. Oh, so um, you weren't even showing your face in any photo. It was just nudes. I did like my li- like below my lips, and you can tell I have like. But a that shit's hot though, because yeah. like when I like, there's like some no face porn mm-hmm. hub couple I watch on Pornhub. Yeah. And every video they upload, I'm like, she's probably gonna show her face this one. Yeah. And every that w- that's always my anticipation. It's, it's, yeah, it's the anticipation. But it. they never do, and I think that's what like. Yeah, I, I think that the other thing, too, is, like, when I started, I, was, I wasn't I was doing it because I was, like, ashamed of what I was doing. I just was learning, you know, cautious. Right. And I'm glad I did that in the beginning because, like, I didn't push my boundaries on anything. Like, I, <laughs> I, I like, definitely am very sexual, you know, but, like, I didn't do anything right off the bat that I was, like, ashamed of. And now I do, like, anything I want to do, but it took me, like, four years to get here, you know? Yeah. And that's that gives people some, something to be excited about and wait for it, too. Yeah, like, have you ever done an orgy yet? Not on like, camera. on camera, yeah. On camera. Have you done, like, two guys? Nope. Yeah, yeah, neither have I, and I'm four years in. Yep. And I literally... I started mine in May but, of 2020. So and I, I, try to, I try to tell these girls all the time, it's like, you don't have to do that in your first year. Yeah. You don't have to, like... Because it's like, the way I look at any new girl that gets in the industry... <laughs> Like you, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say you're my favorite porn star, yeah. right? Or you're my favorite OnlyFans girl. If you give me every bit of my fantasies mm-hmm. of you in the first year, the first mm-hmm. two, for, you know, whatever, the second you give me all that, mm-hmm. I'm going to go find somebody else. Except you know who, you know who though, is different for me? Mm. Adriana Chechik. Mm. I, I can watch any of her shit right? and still it like never it. Gets old. Yeah, yeah cause cause she's just, just so wild. She's fucking wild as yeah. fuck. But like... Anyone else, I'm like, ah, oh, you did it. God damn it. Like, but I think for me, it's also about like boundaries. Cause like I personally I don't submit to women. And like when I decided to try that, it made me feel like bad afterwards. So like I wait till I'm ready. Like I do puke like face fucking till I puke videos. <clears throat> and I actually enjoy them. Yeah. Um, I do like the videos where you like get face fucked till you puke, right? And I waited to do those until I was ready. Because once I was ready, it was like a mental so do you like you know? puking on the dick? Yeah, okay, fun fact. <laughs> my second boyfriend, or no, my first boyfriend I ever had, I puked IHOP all over his dick, and literally... <laughs> oh my God. I puked wings. <laughs> yeah, but he made me <laughs> clean myself up with my own tongue. <laughs> like, oh this was like a personal relationship. Oh I can't, this is not turning me on at I'm all. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I'm just Fucking saying, like... Nasty. But here's the thing, we literally broke up that night. <laughs> Like, like literally he left me a voicemail and i was like i was already on another date but uh no i knew we were over once he made me fucking clean myself up i knew that we had zero like respect for each other you know this i was oh i was going i went out clubbing last night and as the on the way to the club i was getting roadhead on, uh-huh. the, fu- on the fucking 202 yeah and she's gagging uh, and i was like you better fucking not throw up and she's like <laughs> what if i did and i was like i'd fucking barf in your hair oh god and she was like, no, you wouldn't. I was like, fucking try me. And then, but that like, I, I, I just think, can't do that puke shit. I don't like, think everyone, I would not do an, a puke video with another girl. Uh, like, you know, Caitlin, else you know, Caitlin Caceres. Yes. Uh-huh. Here's the thing. I can't watch her videos because I can make puke videos. But mm-hmm. I cannot watch them. I can't. She has one video that I saw on Twitter and it was like her with another girl. And they were like eating each other's puke. And I literally, yeah, a- oh, I got so sick because, like, I'm not into puke, but I can do it. But I had to wait till I was, like, mentally ready to do it. Because for me, like, I let a girl piss on me one time. And we were in the jungle for, like, a week. This is hot. This I don't, is like, hot. I'm cool but with that. Love. But here's yes. the thing. We were in the jungle like the for jungle a week jungle? together. <laughs> huh? Like the jungle jungle? Yeah, like, in Mexico, in a, in the jungle with, oh, like... Shit. Yeah, it was. Why, I don't know why we, we thought pissed on and dirty. Yeah, we were just fucking. <laughs> I didn't think that through, and just literally, I just felt. Yeah, I I just felt so gross after because I was like, damn, this gross piss is all <laughs> over me. <laughs> oh my god! But like, I I like trying those things. I just have to wait till I'm ready, and then once I'm ready, I have like zero regrets. I just yeah. have to like. But do now, it. like when I'm I'm now I'm just gonna <clears throat> as much as it kind of grosses me out the yeah. puke thing, when you puke on his cock. Yeah. Are you stroking that yeah. with a fucking... You just yeah. keep going with yeah. puke. Yeah. Fuck. But then here's the thing. Like, they don't put it back in me after that. Like... No. Like, if they're going to do that, we actually, like, take a break, rinse off, and then keep fucking. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, I personally don't want to fuck my pH balance up that no. much. That's why sometimes, like, I, you guys have both probably done this. I, I used to do this a lot without people knowing, like, when you just, like, throw up on a dick, but you, like, suck it yeah. back up. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and then they're like, let's fuck. No. <sighs> okay, we but go, you I'm would sorry. never know, sir. Yeah, what are exactly. You that's what i about. I would never know. I'm watching you slurp no, no, it no, back no, no, up. No, 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 no. You, it's like, in your, you mouth. in your mouth. And then you just, like, going yeah you just like baby yeah. bird a little bit like so that's just... kind of probably what the girl did in the roadhead because it literally sounded as, as if she threw up and then you could feel it like the it's next warm. thing i then i don't know the next thing i heard is and i was like did you just yeah but i mean sometimes but yeah that's why like a guy would be like can we fuck <sighs> after I'm, sorry baby we gotta go wash off he's like why um so what happened was wait when you baby burp like that you have well, to wash off well, because sometimes it's, like, right, like, after I do it, and then I'm, like, it does suck it back up, but, like, I still feel like sometimes a little more comes up than, like, I want that bacteria, Oh, you know? I'm a good swallower. I'll just get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, I've never had any, like, leftover for the most part, but it's still just, like, I, think you, I know what I came out of me. I think you might be more wild than, uh, you're pretty like fucking wild. She's but. still she's, a sensitive pH, baby. I think she's, I think she's wild, but, like, you, how long you've been porn? Yeah, I just have too much riding on it. Like, but before, she was a she was a fucking whore before she. Yeah, got so was porn. I. Before but... porn, I didn't care, but now that I my pH is so sensitive because I'm yeah. fucking nine hundred guys, I gotta be careful what I'm putting in me. Yeah, right. but I mean, in the sense of like, you learn your body when you're in porn. It's so like now it's like you're a year in versus like before and like for me. Yeah, four the stories years... I'm telling was before porn <clears> when I was like actively vomiting and trying to not show that I was vomiting on a penis. See, I also <laughs> work with guys that are like specifically like throw up dudes. So yeah, like I've they're met, very like respectful. Like Scotty P, I love working with him because like he's so respectful to me. He like will like he doesn't give me aftercare like I do need in my personal life, but like after a throw up scene, like he'll literally like clean me up and like he never makes me feel weird. Like I Does the smell just not bother? It doesn't guys? bother him. Does it bother you? Like it's my own puke. I know, but it still smells. Okay, right. but you have a specific puke diet. I eat applesauce. Maybe I should Except try one, it. Maybe I should try it because I don't. I can't smell anything. I lost my smell three hundred days ago because of COVID. So. Yeah, so then it'd be perfect for you. <laughs> yeah, you just have to make sure that you eat like. <coughs> if, yeah, eat. I just chug chug water for like the hours beforehand. If you, I'm do that. Yeah, so you're just throwing up water. But some guys, the puke guys, they want like chunks. Yeah, they do. Food. One time I was told I need to eat pizza with tomato. I had to eat a tomato just bites. So when I threw up, it was just chunks of red tomato coming out oh and and then scotty was like yo sydney next time just drink applesauce that looks so bad <laughs> oh my god what like, other what other crazy shit besides i don't want to talk about i like i like public sex a lot okay, i wish only fans let me do that like i went on a date i'm okay i'm like low-key known for fucking public like you saw what i drive we're not going to talk about what i drive but it right. has a bull bar on it yeah <clears throat> that is bull bar by the it's way, like, sick license plate, by the way. Thank you. But uh, the bull bar is like, you know, you can hit an animal with it. Oh, I didn't mean about Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so. Uh, What's a bull bar? Yeah. You can just <laughs> fucking hit an animal. <laughs> well, that's like, you know, the easiest way to explain it. Yeah, I bar. love holding on to it after a date and just getting railed in the parking lot. And like, my, I went on this date like a little bit ago <laughs> and uh, literally I just started sucking his dick in the parking lot and we had like this light above us and like, it was like late enough where the people that were coming out were like all drunk you know and then we started fucking and he literally told me he was like i have never had sex in public i don't even know how you got me fucking to come rush. twice it's a rush there's public yeah. sex and then there's public in front of people sex it was in front of people yeah it was our bartender came out after a while and he was like wow 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 and he facetimed someone who showed because a lot of people like me they say they like public sex i like public <laughs> sex but like i like the public sex where it's like not Oh, I love being watched. But I make sure it's, like, people who know. I'm just nervous about, you, like, getting caught or, like, in trouble for it. I make just, sure you, people know. Do you have, like, moments of, like, like uh, some days you just wake up and you're like, this guy's going to come over, but, like, we're going to go fucking public. Like, I'm going to get him to go fucking public or we're gonna just going to fuck here. Uh, I think, like, I don't know, when I hang out with Spur people. Spur the moment. I like going on road trips. So, like, one of my favorite things are, like, traveling. With, I take, like, a dude on a trip. And, like, my favorite thing is, like, making my friends watch as fuck. That's also, yeah. like, great. And that Ooh, doesn't have to be... people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that doesn't have to be, like, planned because they're just around. But then if it's, like, us just doing something, like, usually, like, I'm pretty horny all the time. And, like, the dudes that I'm with... Like, I have one dude I'm talking... Well, two dudes, actually. And both of them are on work trips right now. And... <laughs> They're like, I'm going to wait and edge myself until I get home. And then you all bust a big fat load on your face. And I'm like, 
oh can you do it in the parking lot instead like <laughs> i'm like i'll meet you at the airport we can oh, do it in the family shit. bathroom <laughs> Damn. but like <laughs> but like they'll like legit wait so then they can like see me so it's nice because like wherever i meet up with them usually we just fuck right then are they like your <laughs> subs or you just no, kind of no. have control over them I they think just I'm wait. a really dominant person. So, like, these men know, like, I don't want them <clears throat> fucking other people. Hmm. Do and they Do they know that they're, like, one of two guys? They know that I'm not exclusive with them. Okay. They don't know how many there are. But, like, I feel like the biggest thing is, like, I, I'm super serious <clears throat> about exclusivity. Like, if I am exclusive with someone, like, I'm not a cheater, you know? Mm -hmm. But if I tell them, like, like, right now the phase of life that I'm in is, like, finding myself again doing my thing like I was in a super serious relationship for a while and like we were like I still did porn but like he didn't sleep with other people blah blah like but he was also super like not sexually confident and now I'm like wanting to just get to know people see how they are in bed like get to know their mind and most of them are just like toys to me now are you a Scorpio yeah. no are you a water sign are you a water sign fucking Aries I don't know what side I'm but Air I know what, no. Aries? Not a cancer. Mm -mm. I don't, truthfully, I don't fucking know what I'm any I'm a Leo. Of God damn you. I was going to fucking passionate, say that, sexual, dude. aggressive. <laughs> I go in for the kill. My Taurus, because Tauruses are like that sexually too. Yeah, yeah. They say Taurus and Leo get along pretty well. Are you proud of your <laughs> sex body count? I have, I have two. I have one I tell people and one that's... Mm, that's made up? No, 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 no. I have one I made. No, it's not made up. It's only the people that I cared about. This girl's got a fuck list that she what? keeps. I do too, but yeah. I, don't, I only put people that you actually mattered to me. You want to do a speed round? What does that mean? It means you're just going to list off all the fucking names. <laughs> okay. Well, these are only people that I liked. <laughs> Give us the shitty as list. Fast as fast as you list. As, hold this. on. Hold on. Let me get my little, little teaser video. So just for the record, you guys, like, this is literally only people that I had a crush on. Okay, oh you're gonna do it. You're gonna do a speed round. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna say it as loud as, or not as loud as fast as you can. Yeah. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Simon, go. Max, Joey, Mason, Ethan, Noah, Jack, Johnston, Hank, Zach, Rick, Rickard, Tayo, Will, Tim, Ryan, Chauncey, Ethan, Greg, Dylan, Paul, Doctor Guy, Seth, Nathan, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, Tucker, Zach, Andrew, Dylan, David, Alex, Kyle, Cameron, Cooper, Caleb, John, uh, Diamondbacks player, Alex, oh, Eric, uh, Bevy guy, John. <laughs> Those are only guys that I thought were, like, I Doctor had feelings guy. for. That's crazy. Doctor guy, though, he actually fucked my best friend, like, oh, two I thought weeks you ago. Said, I thought you said something else. Diamondbacks player? No, doctor oh. something. I thought you said... Something else. I like you said Dr. Gay at That's first. That's what I thought I you said. No, Dr. Doctor Doctor guy. Dr. Guy. Doctor guy. guy? Yeah. What's but Bevy Guy? What does that mean? <clears throat> he, it's a restaurant here. Oh. I got really drunk and I was like, you want to fuck us? <laughs> Damn. See, I, I've never kept like a fuck list uh, names. Uh -huh. I've, I used to have a clicker. Mm -hmm. you know, like when you go into a nightclub, click, click, click. Oh my God. Yeah. And then uh, I just fucking lost it in a move. What do you think your body count is? When the last time I had it was mm -hmm. 162. Is that porn people too? I mean, I'm I don't fuck anyone in porn. Like, I'm what not, about you? Do you count your porn people? Because I don't. Oh God. Well, that but, was that but, was just personal but, life, but that's yeah. like that's yeah, like I eight. That's eighteen life. to. Last time I had the clicker, I was probably like twenty-seven. But I, that's pretty good. The so. porn people, I put their porn name and then like what company it's with, so I know what like what's what. What do you think your like, body count is with porn people? Um, it's like in the nineties now. I feel like such. Mine's like 5,000. Yes. I think that's <clears throat> hot as fuck. <laughs> it's, yeah. so, it's so bad, though, because, like, literally my body count, like, in high school, I have... This, these are only people that I liked, just for By the, the way, that was a very slow speed round. You gotta, like, Chris, Ben, John, da, 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 da. I was reading. <laughs> I was reading. It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the trophy for very fast. That was, I will be speaking fast. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not good at that. I'm not like the. She has the slow, sexy voice. I have the gremlin speed voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was cool though. Um, shit, I forgot I was gonna ask you. Oh, so you're at you're in you're like in the five thousands. 
Mm-hmm. See, I I think that's hot as fuck. I didn't most know people, that many people. <laughs> most people would be like, "Oh, fucking skank," right? Yeah. But like, it's like, yo, she just it's fucking skank. loves skank. Or what? <laughs> she just loves skanks. <laughs> no, she just loves sex. The, the like funny who thing says is skank. I haven't heard that word. Poor so slut. Long. I don't know. Like I like fuck. all the words. I like all the words as well. <laughs> well, it's funny though because one of you know that this one I think that's thirty nine dudes on there, and my best friend, like, well, one of them she's in porn too, and hers with porn dudes is only forty five. Really? Yeah, and like she's like a dude. This girl, I love her to death. <laughs> she's gonna hear this. <clears throat> I love her to death, but like <laughs> she's like a way bigger whore than me. Like she'll literally go out and like, like I told her one time, I was like, please don't fuck this guy. Like I'm trying to like, <laughs> I'm trying to like make content with him, and he just got an SG test, and I was like, and you're not tested, so like I won't work with him if you fuck him. Next day he calls me. He's like, yeah, your friend. She. She was riding me and talking about how much she loves you. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's like, I've never had a girl do that before. And I was like, she fucked you. And he's like, yeah, she seduced me after we went to the gym together. And I was like, ah. This is your roommate? This, this is your. This is one of my best friends. And, Damn. like, it's Yo, so funny. Oh, best friend, quit <laughs> fucking doing that. <laughs> she does it all the time. <laughs> but it's funny because, like, even when she's in a relationship, like, all the dudes are like, yeah, you can just go and fuck. You can go fuck who you want because I know you're not going to close your legs. But her body count's only 45. Is that like that's pretty low for porn? Yeah, is she just a late bloomer? Wait, she's in porn. Yeah, she's in porn and she legit like that's how high it is with porn guys. That's not a lot. No, it's not, and that's why it's funny because like she only picks dudes that are like really not supposed to be like fucked. (laughs) Damn, do you uh when it comes to dudes, are you does it matter the dick size? No, you like, and I can tell you right now, like I'm the type of person that okay, like last time I had sex. This dude literally came and then he like cream pied me. And then I told him, I was like, can I just keep using your dick? And I literally rode him and like probably came like three times, like just riding him. He was just average size or what? Yeah. And like, it was just like me being able to like use his dick the way I like it. Mm -hmm. And like, I feel like when guys are able to just like help you feel good. Right. It actually works you know versus the dudes that just have a huge dick that's going to make you bleed eating your cervix to Mm -hmm. all hell yeah yeah like i'm not into super big dick i want to uh i want to ask you about what we were talking about before this podcast started yeah what you like to throw is it you you throw the parties or you have these hidden cameras and you watch so so in my house i have security cameras i have like 47 of them and I don't have a big house. A fucking just, mansion? Or no, like no, no. I don't have a big house, but I make sure I get every angle, including every bathroom. <clears throat> and I... I no fucking legal. privacy. <laughs> just watching house. me take fat shits. No, but I, don't, I don't look at them unless I know that, like, you know, I mainly got them because when I go out of town, like, I have three dogs that I care about a little bit too much. And so I got them originally for that. And my friend was house sitting. And this is how I realized, like, this was funny. She literally put a freaking pillow up in my bedroom. And all I could hear on the footage was, uh, 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 oh my God, harder. And I was like, what the fuck? And then the next day, it was a different dude that walked into my house. I was like, Hannah, how, oh, that's, well, that's an easy name. I was like, how many people are you <laughs> going to have in my house? And she's like, oh no, that's the same one. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, I have cameras everywhere. <laughs> Damn. So do they, they all know that they're being filmed? Oh yeah. Everyone, anytime they're my friends. They first sign an NDA and then second sign on releases. Shit. Do you put this content anywhere or is it, this is just for your own enjoyment? I, I'm a freak in my personal life. So like I like to watch everyone and everything and I love when they watch me. So like that's hot. But I'm also like the type of person that like I haven't explored like being like poly or anything like that. Like I'm kind of territorial. So like I know that like that's why right now I'm kind of exploring like what I like more sexually like once because once you get out of a relationship like I've been single for like at least a year and when I became single I was like with a dude that was like super loyal like I tried to get him to sleep with my people and he was like no baby I just love you and I'm like okay but I want you to fuck someone like yeah but um I don't know like how much I want to share my person but I do know I like when my friends watch I like watching my friends. Like, um, I don't know if you know who Sabrina May is, but she is someone who Kinda, loves yeah. watching me fuck. Like, loves it. Like, literally, her eyes light up when we're. Damn, that's <laughs> that's awesome. And she we just like sits sharing. there and just watches you just. 
Yeah, and she'll like invite me to do threesomes with her at her house. You're just like, yo, Sabrina, come over. I'm about to have sex. Want to watch? Well, I'll invite her over and then I'll just be like, yeah, <laughs> look at her big tits. And then they get hard and they're like. Speaking of big fucking tits, <laughs> what fucking size? What do you think? Dude. <laughs> H. Um, I don't know. I don't even know. There's no fucking way. I feel like they're bigger than that. They're Hold just G cups. I was going to get you. Let me guess. Holy shit. They don't, I'm sitting back right now, though, so it's like... Can I, pop a titty? I won't pop a titty, though, but I will do this real quick. Like, look at that there's no padding. That's so much, Bobby. Holy shit. Those are melons right there. Like, there's no padding. Like, you see it. Oh, my fuck. Holy fuck. <laughs> and it's, like, Holy falling out the bottom. <laughs> you ever tried to... What the, I've seen videos where they, like, take the pit and they try to... Yeah. yeah. What can you crush with those? Want to just put your can put you your? Like, are you one of those people that can like hold shit under their titty? Put your mouth back. Yeah, no, life. I can. I can <clears throat> do pretty much anything. I've squeezed a watermelon with my thighs. I've squeezed oh, full God. Coke cans with my uh, tits. Those headphones are a little funky. Right? No, 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 mine do this too. My brain's just there. Thank you. It's my hair. Penetration. <laughs> All right, so what is your, what can your tits crush? Oh, uh, okay, so I can crush <laughs> Coke cans that are full, which is way harder than, any, I can crush pretty much anything. Like, I don't know, if you tell me something, I could usually crush it with my boobs, because they're just so big me? that, like, me? Yeah, I could. <laughs> <laughs> what size are they? What is the full size? 42G. G. Oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, I fucking want to do it. And yeah. then there's, like, me, where if I, like, lay on my back, my chest is flat. Well, mine go out to my to the side too. <laughs> like, like when I lay down, they're they 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 move. But it's funny because I have a lot of dudes that literally like, can you just ride me and like suffocate? Face me? Do you well, suffocate them? I like to ride like laying on them. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Like when you're like laying on someone. Yes. Yeah. You just lay on top. I would like lay flat on you with my boobs in your face. Like that's how I like oh, to ride, and then I, I just bounce that. up and down. I used to not really be a fan of monstrous tits or mm-hmm. even just big tits in general. And then, like, I'm not a fan of fake boobs at yeah. all. Just not, they're just, they're just like, uh, whatever. What do I do with that? What do I yeah. do with, what do I, you know, like, yeah. What but then, do I do with But then you? big ass <laughs> titties. Yeah. Oh, my God. Let me fuck, suffocate me. I think that <laughs> shit's so hot. Like, to death with like I love feet. So, yeah. like, I'm a, I love feet. So, like, putting feet in my face and just mm-hmm. literally making my, like, self suffocate. Yeah. That's hot, but then titties, holy shit. Titties. See, I feel like it's, like, different, too. Like, when you have a good experience, you want to have more experiences. Like, you probably had someone that had, like, really nice tits, and you were like, oh, now I like tits, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, like, with me with feet, I had never done anything with feet. And then, do you know who Ryan Keeley is? <clears throat> She's. Yes. I think so. She has, like, shorter hair. Blonde yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I had a scene with Ryan Keeley, and we were both, like, super, super clean, like, baby wiped our feet and had showered, like, right before. And then, like, we were having, like, such pas- passionate, like, slow, hot lesbian sex. Like, it was so hot. And then randomly, she starts sucking my toes. And I had never, like, done that before. And I was, like, so in the moment that I, like, did it to her. And then afterwards, I was, like... That was so Whoa, hot. Like, what was that? Right. Because she has way more experience. Like, she's been in the industry for so long that, like, sh- we had amazing chemistry, but, like, take a- And I was super nervous. Like, you know how you said you were, like, pacing earlier? Yeah. Like, with her, I kept fucking talking <laughs> before we were trying to hit record. And she was like, just shut up and kiss me. <laughs> and Damn. I literally was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like your feet because you got the fucking white French... That's the going only on. way to go, baby. Yeah. Oh my god! If a girl, if a girl has it. white nails, I'll f- like fucking just take. Let's take our clothes off. I now. always, pretty much, always get French manicures. Like, it's I don't know. But I like, like it. But it, I mean, I like that you have the white French tips. But if they were just all, all fucking white, white yeah. oh my god! Just I just can't do white anymore. I'm just they get too dirty. Like yeah, they polish do. Polish gets stained, and then it just looks nasty. Like especially on like light skinned girls. Mm-hmm. Holy. F- Fuck. Oh, yeah, I'm it makes pop. Pale, like, so, like, it just looks... Little you're not pale. You just got a spray tan. No, I did not get spray tan. You just got in a fucking tanning bed. We were talking about your... Look, yeah, it doesn't mean I'm fucking tan. You look tan. Well, I'm I'm fucking pale. I don't go outside. Yeah, right he, like, hurts my, go outside. he, like, hurts my eyeballs to look at outside. Well, yes, feet. 
Mm -hmm. So when I, before I got into porn, I was shooting for a site that I was trying to create. It was called Feet Crave. Uh And that was based on all girls that have never done anything with feet. Mm -hmm. If you have done a foot job or if you ever had your toes sucked, I didn't want to shoot that because my thing was like, I wanted that raw reaction Mm -hmm. of me sucking on your toes for the first time and then her being like, Oh my god! It you feels know, so to good. me it that was like to me good. that is such a high like because because then these girls that would be like oh, I fucking hate feet. Let's not. I don't want to really do this. I'm like just try it. Yeah. And then they try it, and then weeks after they would be like, Yo, Ryan, what fucking toe color should I get? Or Ryan, do my feet look pretty? So I yeah. got them into like liking and being yeah. open to feet, and then uh, it's like yeah, the first. It's like virgins, you know, foot virgins basically. I never thought about it like that, but Toe feet are just, I, I have to, like, a girl has to have, like, I like your feet, but a girl has to have pretty feet yeah. in order for me to even want to fuck her. No, I get, because Ryan's if, were really nice. That's why I was so cool, like, doing whatever with her. Yeah. I was like, oh, God, you're so hot. Yeah, like. because it's like, like I said, my stamina is so fucking long right now. Yeah. So it's like, if we're doing other things, but I just can't come, I'm going to resort to feet because yeah. that is just the, that's the trigger right there. What's your trigger? Um, big old dick. <laughs> big old penis. Um, well, I have never came in my entire life unless it was from like a Hitachi, like a vibrator. Wait, really? Yeah, like it just we're broken. Sydney's like, like, can, like, like I just want to. Sydney's like I just want to <laughs> fuck the shit. A guy can make me squirt with his fingers. I'll like that doesn't <laughs> feel like anything crazy. I've you know? never squirted. Like, like, le- from a person. Like, uh, Sarah J tried to. Sterling Cooper sh- tried to. Like, uh, Richard Mann. Y'all like, failed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, I get close. Like, I feel the sensation. Yeah, and then it just is, like, it's, like, almost too much. <clears throat> and then it's just, like, okay, I can't do this. Yeah, like, I can, like, piss on someone. I'm not afraid to do that. So it's weird that, like, I can't, like, squirt. I'm going to be honest yeah. before, I'm, before I forget to start. Because you said piss earlier. Yeah. I've never let a chick piss on me, but I'm just going to say it. I would to totally let you piss on me. <laughs> I'm a piss king. Can you won't let me piss on her you? Vo- it's just her goddamn voice. <laughs> it's so sexy. Oh, I guess I'm going to be peeing on Like, him. I would never let a girl <laughs> dom me. on him? I would never <laughs> let a girl dom me ever. Yeah. Girls ask me all the time, Ryan, can I dom you? I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You? You just got this fucking thing going on <laughs> that I'm just like... <laughs> Shit. Maybe I'll Ryan's be nice hot and bothered. You. Fuck. <laughs> Ryan's hot and bothered. I feel like it's because I'm like not aggressive about like wanting to do things too. Right. Because I, I feel like when someone, so I, okay, we're going to go back to the dating thing, right? Mm-hmm. I went on a date with this dude and he said, what do you bring to the table? And I was like. I say that shit all the time. Okay, no, no, no. But this is like, he knew my job. He knew my following. Like, I'm like, why are you asking me this dude? Like, you've already Googled me. Like, why, like. Why are you asking me what I bring to the table when, like, we're having a full blown conversation about life, and then you just like blurt this out? And did I'm, he mean sexually? <clears throat> no, he meant like as a person. And I was so turned off because I was like, "Why are you asking me this when, like, we haven't even made it to the bedroom?" <laughs> so then oh, I was shit. like, "So then I was like, I'm gonna just play it nice and like show him what I bring to the yeah, table." Yeah, sir. Um, I bring pussy that <laughs> feels like drugs. No, I literally slammed him <laughs> against the wall, and I literally like like fucked him like i just bounced back like because i'm tall so like i had him against the wall and like just fucked myself with his dick and he literally was like shaking he was like i'm gonna come i'm gonna come i don't i'm not even doing anything like oh i'm gonna come and i was like yeah that's what i bring to the table and i literally left his house Period. 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 So, like, so like I like Period. domed him without him even realizing. It. Use use his penis as a play toy. Yeah. So hot. And then he like kept calling me, and I was like, Nah, dude, that was such a turn off. Like, I was just trying to show you who's boss. I was just bored, <laughs> and you're a cat toy to be. Yeah. Big boy. Have you uh have you completed your biggest fantasy? No. Can I ask what your biggest fantasy is? I have so many, but like, I definitely want to. So, I'm originally from Sweden, for those of you who don't know. But now um, you just fucking got 10 <clears> times hotter. <throat> Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. 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 Oh my uh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said I can speak Swedish. I can say way oh. worse than that. But I, I mean, I wouldn't. Call me something dirty in Swedish. Oh, do I need it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dated a Spanish girl it. before you go into your whatever you're uh-huh. going to say. I dated this 
really Spanish chick. Yeah. And anytime me and her got into arguments, she yelled at you. She would start. She would start talking Spanish, and I'd be like, "Baby, I don't know what you're saying, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep saying fuck you." You know, like yeah. cursing at get you mad because that fucking accent, <laughs> that like Spanish. I'm like, no, I'm not even, mad anymore. I'm just horny. I don't yeah. even give a fuck. <laughs> you're like, I'll, I'll make you mad every day. Yeah. She'd be like, "Why, Ryan? Why are you smiling?" I'm like, "It's so hot." What you're saying? <laughs> no, it, it is. But growing up in Sweden, I took trains all the time. Mm-hmm. So that's one of my fantasies is to hold on to like the train railing and just get railed. Go to New York City. No. Get a train ran on you in a train. I well that's actually my goal this summer if COVID and Ukraine stuff like chills out. Like uh-huh. I have a ticket and like whoever wants to meet me there, I'm just gonna like, you know, take them around my Book hometown. My flight and... right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love taking a trip. I love making public porn, but like I obviously never around kids. Like just for the record, like if I s if I know that we're in a place that has like kids, like a parking lot that's not just for a bar of you know then i wouldn't do it but but isn't like, like fucking in public over there like fully legal my boobs were on the side of a bus i'm when talking I was 17 to like, so i think what? i think yeah it's legal oh. there that's what i'm that's saying what, like they're yeah. super cu- like every beach is a nude beach you know? but like is it really that much of a rush if it's legal over there well it's more sex, rush here. Uh, sweden's very different than other countries sex is very taboo there really Oh, yeah. And I was a huge whore. I would fuck all of my so, friends. So nudity's fine. Sex? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, that's like a like taboo thing. Like, my job when I go there, like, my family is orthodox. Okay? I'm not going to say which religion, but they are, like, to a T, like, the most religious, right? Uh-huh. And they they live in Sweden. I love them to bits and pieces, but when we try to have a conversation about my life, I have to just make shit up because yeah. I know it's way too crazy. Oh, they don't even them. fucking know what you do. No, no, no. They do. I use my real name. Shit. So like my whole family, I, I you mean, know I, they just want to hear about it. Yeah, and like they're so religious that like I feel bad. Being like, oh yeah, I filmed like six pornos this week. They all sent me a letter one time, and they were like, "We're so." This was when I first got in porn. They're like, "We're so disappointed. We're gonna bring you back to the religion and make you better." And I literally cried when I read it because I was like, they all sent me a selfie too attached to the letter of them like looking sad. Yeah, they all signed it, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's crazy." <laughs> that's like uh, my mom. My 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 dad knows. Every, mm-hmm. I mean, my parents know everything I do. My dad's like my accountant, so like he's. I just had this conversation today. He he called me and he was doing like my invoicing, and he's like, "Ryan, these fucking porn site names are ridiculous." I was like, <laughs> "I was like, what are you talking about?" He's like, "Swallowed, true anal, all anal, mm-hmm. blacks on blondes." He's like, "What?" And I was like, "Dad, why don't you ask your boy that owns Dog Fart why he named it Dog Fart?" Yeah, because that is the craziest fucking name ever. He doesn't, he's like, I don't have the answer for that. But my mom is very black and white. Mm-hmm. So Chanel. when I was dating uh, Kyler Quinn mm-hmm. and I was living with Kyler and Chloe Temple at the time, I'd go out to dinner with my mom, my parents, and my mom would be like, so Ryan, does like Kyler and Chloe, like, do they do sex? Oh my I was God. like, do they have sex? <laughs> Yeah, they have sex all the time. They do the fucking. But, like, they do it. Like, they do the fucking. <laughs> like, oh why are you God. asking it like that? It's just like, yes, they fuck. But. Yeah, my family's seen my videos. They're not, like, crazy. Reli- I mean, my my aunt and uncle, they're like, you're going to go to hell. I'm like, we're all fucking going to hell. This is hell, you know? dude. Yeah. I mean, this I was, is were hell. Were you bad, though, like, when you were younger? Uh, Yeah, I was a bastard. Yeah, so, like, they probably all knew it was going to happen. Because, at least for me, like, my family, like, I, when I lived in Sweden, I dated the town drug dealer, which, like, there's only one. So, like, the chance of me finding the drug dealer in the town. He's really nice, though. He's subscribed <laughs> to my only fans. He's really nice. That's so nice. Yeah, but, like, uh, when I lived in Sweden and stuff, like, my family knew, like, I was definitely, like, the bad kid. The black sheep. Yeah, I still am the black sheep, but... Then in America, like, I did way worse things. Like, my dean, I caught caught fucking in the parking lot. My dean just told me to go back to class. He was like, ugh, Sydney, this is typical you. Um, He loves me now, though. He subscribed to my stuff, too. So how many orgies have you been in? Back in high school, a lot of them. I haven't done any recently, though. Why? I'm probably going to do an Easter orgy, though. With all the fucking house parties you do, why don't you just... Because I like what's mine is mine. So I pick someone for the night, maybe two or three, and they all do it to me. I don't count that as an orgy. If it's all about me, it's not. An yeah, orgy. no. What do you mean? Like they all just do stuff to me. That's not an orgy to you? No. 
Is they're not doing stuff to each no, other. They're fucking everybody. Yeah. yeah, they're just fucking me. I that have works. clips. Maybe I'll ask them tonight. I'll text them and I'll, I'll send you one. Literally in my bed, you can see everyone just surrounding me. Like someone eating me out. Someone sucking one. All guys? Stuff. No, girls too. <clears throat> Y'all go to these fucking house parties, man. I, you want, how, the, would you go? Would you go to the house party? Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have fun with that shit. But my problem is like, I actually had drama because of it. Because two of them started dating and they didn't want to tell me because they thought I was going to get mad. And I was like, no, bro, like, just because you guys fuck me, like, and I don't want you guys, you, I, like, when I get drunk, I'm like, yeah, just get me all your attention because it feels so good. Doesn't mean you guys can't do shit on your own. And then literally they, like, didn't tell me they were dating. And I was like, bro, I would have been so fucking supportive. Wow. And I was like, how's the sex then? And they're like, oh, you want to ask me about that? I was like, yeah. They're like, it's so good. And I'm like, fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> like, That's awesome. They're both girls, too. Are you doing anal? At all? I've never done anal. Never? You can text any dude I've shot with. They always tell me my asshole's too tight. Not even like a toy can get <laughs> in there? Yeah, or what? train it, girl. I put my pinky in and it pushes it out. <laughs> like, yeah. I literally have tried. Hmm? Yeah, I feel like I need to do it in See, my personal life. See, I feel like life. if I'm trying to do, like, ass stuff and pussy stuff, it, like, it's too tight. Like, there's well, not enough. Yeah, but you get the distraction up front. So That's why. About the pain oh, the yeah. Um, Tip. Because yeah. you're like a vibrator. A Hitachi is the only way I can do anal. Because mm -hmm. like it, it opens you up. See, I think I, I think I just need a dude I really like to stick his fat fucking dick in my butt. No, no, <laughs> like, no, no, no. I well, if, it, if it's tight, I wouldn't it's say hella, a fat it, dick. No, I'm making a joke. Like, okay. whatever dick, yeah. you know what I mean? But I like, I can fit one. my pinky <laughs> in, but it's only when I'm on my period. <laughs> like literally, there's like a fucking four day window <laughs> when I can put my pinky That's in. That's crazy. I mean, how you said that what a DP feels better to yeah. you? Yeah. Like my ex, she, mm -hmm. I, I'll ask her all the time. I'm like, yo, Kyler, like, how the fuck do you handle that? She's like, shockingly, mm -hmm. uh, when I'm getting ass fucked and pussy, like I, she's, yeah. she's like, the pain kind of just like, here's the because she'll focus on whatever dick yeah, is feeling doesn't better. Yeah, it hurt when like, like, yeah, when you have another stimulation. Yeah, see, but here's the thing, though, too. I low-key, like, need someone to hold my cheeks apart. So, like, it's an actual process. She said that, too. She yeah. said that, too. It's like a pain in the ass, like, getting to the cheeks. It's like, fuck. Yeah, like, so I had... like, spread one and, like, fuck with this hand. Like, no, no, fun. seriously. Like, I literally was shooting a scene the other day, and, like, this dude, he, like, told me, he was like, I have never seen your entire hand just get swallowed by your butt cheek before. Yeah. And I was like... <laughs> Yeah, he's like, it was so hot. Like, and I was just thinking to myself, I was like... Because that's why I told them, I was like, I can't fuck guys with, like, little dicks. Average dicks, but, like, little dicks, you're, like, half your dick's being swallowed by my butt cheeks. Yeah, but you just have to really, like, I literally just stick my face in the fucking pillow and spread, like, in my personal life, and, and they just fucking <laughs> pound my shit, like, and it feels so good, but, like, in camera, I'm they literally can only put the tip in. To your only fans. It's I'm not even so that crazy. I have, like, 3,000 scenes, though. Holy shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just so fascinated with everything that you're saying. Right. I just got to go on there and be like, what are you doing? Like, I was nervous. I was freaking out before you got here. Now I'm just like, dude, everything you say is just so fucking awesome. Did you say you're turned on? Oh, fucking <laughs> really turned on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go upstairs I, and get fucked up this one. Jesus. <laughs> I, I feel like I have fun doing content, though, too, because, like, I shoot with people when I'm ready to. You know what I mean? And so I get to be, like, more comfortable. Like, there's other people I've shot with that, like, um, let's see. Like I'm trying to think. Oh, do you know who Logan Long is? Mm -hmm. Yes. He was my. He first. ripped my throat a few times. Oof. I love it though. That's I, my favorite. He's never broken me, but he was my first like real like porn dude I shot with, uh -huh. and then Sterling Cooper after that. Okay. And um, with Logan, it was funny because he was so gentle and like nice and like. Like, it, like, in the video, it didn't look like it was. But he was, like, a great person to start with. Because I feel like once you, like, start trying things and you have positive ones, like, the way you and I are talking about porn, if you had a bad experience, you wouldn't be talking about it like that. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And, and I feel like because I've been in for four years and, like, the first year I, like, took it slow and did what I wanted to do. And then the next one, like, my first lesbian scene was on a yacht on top of it with Jessica Ears just watching with Sarah Bro, J. What? What companies are you, is this like, I is shoot this, almost all my own shit. I've okay, never, cause I, I was going to, I was literally about to ask, like, are you shooting any mainstream or is it strictly all? It's strictly all own, like my own, own content. And like, occasionally I'll work with someone like Sarah who puts it up on a site, but I have strict rules of like, don't post it for free, blah, blah, blah. And Sarah and a couple other people, the only ones who I've let post it for free. 
And that's because they have like made it worth my while. Yeah. Because like my my content is so sought after because I've been on the internet since I was 12. Like my name is already a name, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Versus like other people when they get in, like they need their name to be made, which is why I think mainstream is so great because yeah. like you can build something and then you can switch. For me, I built my name off of other content and then moved over. Yeah, that's why I think porn worked for me in the beginning is because everybody already knew who I was. Like, mm -hmm. that's also why OnlyFans was so great. You probably, I think you said this too, is like um, all the people that like, wanted to see you naked when you were underage were quick to buy it the second you were of age and like selling yeah. it. That's like, that's like I look at the, what's that fucking bad baby chick, mm -hmm. right? She made like a million in like Before she hours. turned 18 and she was like, you know, publicity everywhere. Mm -hmm. I literally was like, the second this fucking girl turns 18, she's going to make a million dollars. Like some company or she's going to choose the OnlyFans route and then it's like, boom, bitch made fucking a million. Is it a million? A million in like less than 24 hours? Yeah. Seven hours. Seven well, hours. Like, do you guys know that TikToker named Sienna May? She's kind mm -hmm. of a terrible person. Yeah, yeah. But um, the day she turned 18, she blasted it all over her socials. And the engagement it got was fucking ridiculous. But it's the fact that that bad baby, she, she hasn't even popped a single titty. No, yeah. It's literally just bikini photos. It's mm -hmm. literally photos from her IG. Like, I subscribed to it. I mm -hmm. was just like, what the fuck is the hype on this? And then it's like, yeah, what it's the, the fuck? anticipation of what's going to be on it. Yeah, like it's crazy. Like same with Tana. Yep. Like she Tana, she doesn't you really think she's hot. Would, would you fuck her? I would fuck the shit out of Tana Mojo. I think she's kinky, and I like people that are open minded and kinky. Yeah, yeah. and her titties she's are beautiful. You met her? Yeah. Huh. Huh. I'd still fuck I've met a, over. I've met a lot. I've been of watching YouTubers. her YouTube since I was like fourteen. <laughs> How I've many met celebs have you of fucked? Well, you know that dating... I'm not going to say what dating app, but I'm on one of the celebrity ones that's exclusive, like, invite only. <coughs> what? So. Can you invite me? There's <laughs> a no, celeb like app. <coughs> this yeah, is but I've me. fucked, like, so many celebrities. But here's the thing. When, when I did YouTube, there's only one person I cried over, and I think it's so funny, because, like, you know when you meet someone and you, like, fangirl? Mm -hmm. Or fan guy or whatever? Yeah. Uh, I went to, like... Uh, but I went to VidCon, and I literally cried over a girl who had, like, 100K subs. Like, I had met so many way more famous people. And, like, at VidCon, like, you party with these YouTubers. Mm -hmm. So, like, I had met um, the Dolan twins. Like, uh, I used to be obsessed with Cameron that. Dallas. Like, all these people I was hanging out with, right? Okay. They didn't know who the fuck I was. Is this, but like, I, the Nash Greer era? Yes. <laughs> and all these people, though, that were, like, throbs. The person that I fucking cry over is this random-ass bitch that lives here in Phoenix. That has oh. like a hundred k. Allie Marie Evans, <gasps> and and oh, literally, yes. she she had to fucking calm me down, <laughs> and I was like bawling, and I was like thinking back, and I was like, why did I cry over this girl? Wait, I, I know that know, name, and I, I know, know I've know seen it. Why can't I pin the she's face? Literally, Hold on. like I don't. She doesn't do anything that's like, she, you know, like drama or iconic or anything. Allie Marie Evans. Yeah, a um a l l i e, Marie Evans. Yeah. I wonder if she's still on YouTube. This was like a while ago. I but don't know it, who the fuck that is. But that was like way before TanaCon and like all those things. Yeah, that was a nightmare. I feel like Tana's kind of obnoxious, still looks but she's familiar, kinky. But I don't. Yeah, this don't was know. back in the day, but I, that's this the girl? only girl I've cried. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the only girl I've cried over. <laughs> like the only person that I freaked out over, and I find oh, it so ironic. Oh, she's in Euphoria. No. <clears throat> is she now? That's Chloe Cherry, babe. No, Allie Marie Evans she, she is a Canadian is actress. She portrays portrays Natalie in Euphoria. Who is Natalie? I don't know. I, I just know a long, long time ago. But I don't think you're looking at the right person. Yeah, I, you showed me the Instagram. I, yeah. That is. Whatever. Let me see that. Hold on. I think she is Canadian, though, but she lived here. So I thought it was ironic that I was crying. And I also knew where she lived in a non creepy way. Oh, that is way. the right person. Who is Natalie? Sorry, I'm like. This <laughs> chick, right? Yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's so crazy. Like, she's super famous now, but back then she only had, like, 100K subs. Like, she was literally, like, not not anyone that, like, you should cry over. But I saw her star potential. Oh, that's that's the girl that was, like, at the prom with Nate and was, like, crying. Oh. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I thought she didn't watch that show. Me? Yeah. I told you I've seen it all. Oh. I watched it, and I binged it. I got done with all... That's a hard show to 18 binge. episodes so in four days. In. That's so Jeez. much to take in in two days, man. Yeah. 
Do you know what show I've been watching? It's a grandma show. It's called Sweet Magnolias. <laughs> Where's that? It's literally like a hometown drama. Like, <laughs> like country little hick town drama. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Like I a love reality Shrek show or what? Uh, no, it's just like, you know, like... Uh, Lifetime movie kind yeah. of shows. Yeah, like it's so great for my soul because I deal with so much bullshit in my real life that I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. oh, this is the drama they're it's having. It's me with Vampire Diaries. Just like yeah. this nonsensical shit. I also right. really like and get turned on by SVU. Super random. That's fucking weird. I That's know. why I watch Criminal Minds. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, DJ Hero. Would <laughs> so I've never asked yeah. anybody this on this uh, podcast, but because you're so goddamn intriguing, hypothetically, mm-hmm. you could have your way with me. Yeah. What would you <laughs> fucking do? This is hard. Like, is this on the spot? You can't do that. I'm or so what? glad you. I'm not asking you that. to dirty talk me. I'm just like, if what you could. What would you do to him? If you could just. Well, okay. First of all, if I had my way and like you weren't doing shit, like I would literally throw you on the bed, pull down your pants, suck your dick, make you fucking throb, shit. then kiss you from your belly button <laughs> all the way up to your neck, and just tease you and stroke while I'm doing okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna need you to stop. Why? It's so fucking hot. I know. That's why I'm gonna need her to stop. <laughs> She's like, I need to pull my pants down and start do you, going. Do you lick guys' nipples at all? Yeah, yeah, I do. I just got into that. I don't know. You why. know what else I do though? Huh? A lot of ear play. <gasps> I love. If pe- people sleep on ear play, dude. I need to adjust myself. Get a, little, <laughs> get a little like breathing and like a little tongue in the. Or, oh. I also suck on like earlobes. Yeah. Like that's one of my favorite things. I love ear shit. That gets Shut, me. This is about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it to her too. Yeah. I want her to suck on my ears. Fuck you. That is fucked. Yeah. Ow. One thing my ex told me after we broke up, he was like, "I miss your ear when you play with my ears." <laughs> I'm like, that's you texting me, not not anything else. Damn, no, I miss so you just hot. lick my ears. Yeah. That is so fucking hot. Yeah, one time though I felt really bad because I like had like sucked on this guy's earlobe and I thought that I had like bruised it because the next day like we were all sitting at the table with my family and I'd like bit his ear and then come to find out that like he had like um <clears throat> used this like sucker thing on his ear like earlier that day and got a bruise on it. So when I like bit his ear at the dinner table in front of everyone. Um, I, like, started crying because I was like, oh, I did oh, that I to your ear. Oh, me something gross. No, I thought I had, like, bruised it, and my whole family was like, what the fuck are you doing to him? Oh, my God. But then I was, then he told my whole family, he was like, oh, no, like, I just had this weird sucking thing that gave my gave me, like, a hickey on my ear, and I was over here thinking I hurt him because wow. I care so much about, like, <laughs> not, like, unintentionally hurting someone. <laughs> There, there were, like, girls in my high school that would purposely get, like, hickey necklaces. They would have their boyfriends just fucking hickey I lo- around I used the to be whole that, fucking I was that neck. girl. I was that girl. Just chest covered in fucking hickeys. I liked my tits covered. I think, I think hickeys are so, so trash. I like them. I, I think they're hot. I mean, nowadays, yeah. like, then I think it just, there was so many girls that would walk around proud with a fucking hickey me. necklace. Well, like, did you guys have, like, the colored bracelet trend where it was, no. like, showed how, like, experienced you were? Oh, you know? hell no. Everyone what? fucking called me a whore anyway. <laughs> well, there, there was these bracelets. You're like, a, you're like a proud whore. Right? Yeah. yeah, there was, like, these colored bracelets that people would wear. And, like, ha- whatever color you wore, like, coordinated with, like, something you've done. And I just wore, like, a bunch of them. I was just a liar. I was, like, a freshman in high school wearing bracelets. <laughs> and said I did, like, 900 orgies or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just being a liar. Freshman year of high school. Wanted to be a whore before I was one. I actually got into a fight with this girl because she told me she could suck dick better than me. And oh we were in flag football freshman year because you're like, you have to be in a sport and in like PE. And she was so skinny, she like tied her flag. And I knew she had tied it. And we and we ended up becoming best friends just for the record. But uh, she tied it and I knew like I could drag this bitch down the field. <laughs> and... um. <clears throat> So she was telling me, like, I can suck Aaron's dick so much better than you, blah, blah. And I literally got so mad that I <laughs> dragged her with her flag. And then after that, we just, like, bonded over being, like, whores that wanted to suck dick. And Perfect. So you're, like, you are a proud whore. Yeah, but, like, I'm also, like, the one that's, like, innocent and smart. And, like, it's funny because people are, like, wow, like, you're just, like, way out there. But also, like, way nerdy. Like, I'm really nerdy. Yeah. So it's, like, like you know. This girl... Just loves telling the world and owning it that she's a fucking whore. I'm also yeah. I'm like you though. I'm very intelligent. Yeah, but, but I, I feel I like there's so much. To be a whore. Yeah, and there's so much more to like someone. And that's almost freeing to like get away from like that side of yourself. Yeah. Well, and when I started doing porn, everyone from my high school was like, "Yeah." It's so typical. like, what if someone? No, if, yeah, like everybody thought, thought it made sense. Yeah. But like, if someone just 
I don't know, is in like a fucking conversation. Like they don't like you and they call you a whore. Like that doesn't get Thank under you, your skin, right? No, I don't think uh, it doesn't get under. It doesn't really phase me. I've been called way worse. <laughs> right, I've been called worse by better. Thank you. I literally was on TikTok Live a little bit ago, and this guy like sent all of his fans to my live, and I had like over a hundred thousand fans watching, me. like not my fans, but someone else's. Yeah. And all they did was comment, "You look stinky. You look gross," <laughs> and that hurt my feelings so really? bad because I was like, "I'm not stinky." <laughs> like, I like, think the worst, the worst insult is somebody calling me dull. Yeah, you're like, I'm a bright light. Fuck yeah, off. Fuck you. <laughs> I feel like it's when someone insults something that you know you take pride in. Yeah. Like, you're like, call me a whore. That's what, it doesn't matter didn't to me. Did you call me a thumb yesterday? What's I a thumb? call you a thumb. No, a thumb. I thumb. didn't call you a thumb. It was probably you or Chloe. I answered FaceTime, and I think Chloe was like, you look like a thumb. Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, that fucking hurts my feelings. He was like, laying in my love sack, just like swallowed by it. And he was answering like this. And she was like, dude, you look like a thumb. Yeah, I've like never that. called someone that. I don't like that. I don't like that. You know, likey. I do not like that. Um, hmm. Marley, who do you think is crazier, Sydney or Harley? Sexually, Sydney. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think you into some freaky <laughs> shit. Like, I think you're into a lot more, but I think obviously it, we can't cover be it on into this the podcast. Same amount of things, but you've done more than I have for sure. I I think also like. I'm like a weirdo too. Like, I'm the type of person that like I'll ask you in the middle. I'll be like, "You want to actually go fuck in my hot tub?" It, it probably would feel feel warmer than my bed. <laughs> like, I'm that person, so that's probably why I've had like. I hate hot it, tub sex. I love hot tub it. sex is horrible. I do not want it's hot fuck. No, 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 no. water in my pussy. I get so fucking wet. I'm dripping, and so like it's it doesn't it's not bad. <laughs> like, I just don't want like hot chlorine water in my fucking pussy. I feel like it's because I always grew up having to, like, sneak in the hot tub. Yeah, dude, every time I've ever fucked in a pool or a hot tub, it's so goddamn dry. Yeah. The pool, though, isn't that great. The Diamondbacks player, when I fucked him, I fucked him in my pool. Okay, first of all, he was the worst sex I've ever had in my life. I literally cried afterwards once he left. I was like, this was horrible. I feel a little bit used. Well, no, like, he only lasted, like, maybe 15 to 20 seconds. Oh, my God. And barely any foreplay. So I was literally, like, I don't well, even think I had was. sex. Like, no, I literally, we went two rounds. One in the pool, and he came in 15 seconds, and then one in my bed, and, like, he cuddled me for, like, 15 minutes after, and I was like, please fucking leave. You <laughs> right, like, cuddles are great if you, like, fuck my brains out, and it was great, yeah. but, like, if you gave me the worst dicking of my life, get the fuck out of my house. Yeah, like, I have this really nerdy dude I'm talking to right now, but he's, like, shredded, nerdy, tall, and when I pulled his dick out, it was, like, the biggest one I've ever seen. Like, when I tell you, like, I'll show you a picture after... It's huge for him not being in porn. I'm so surprised he's not in porn because he's a great, great fuck, right? But, like, he literally fucked my brains out, and then we laid there, and, like, this man fell asleep, and I literally almost fell asleep, which never happens to me. But it's funny because, like, he was so good in bed. He reminded me of the MTV show R.J. Berger. (laughs) Do you know that show? (laughs) You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's this guy that's, like, super nerdy in high school and, like... Um, the specific scene that makes me feel like I'm in that movie or show is when the girl's in the hospital dying and she flatlines as he's fucking her. <laughs> like that's that's how I felt when he was fucking me because I yeah, felt she's like crazier than you. I could fucking die and like be dead. Be no, fine. I want someone to ch- like make me pass out during sex and I wake up and they're still fucking me. Yeah, that yeah. sounds so hot. Yeah, or like the guys that I asked to, like hit me in the face and they're like, "What?" And I'm like, "If I." St- now, now you ruined it because you're questioning me. Just I, do I, what I ask. I had one dude. I asked him to smack me. And I, I don't ask people unless I'm, like, really down, right? And I asked him to smack me. And he literally gets on his knees, like, on the bed. And he's like, you want me to do what? I don't want to hit you. I can't hurt you. And I literally was like. <laughs> now now, now my dick ain't hard. Sorry, go. I, I, well, I literally <laughs> was like, oh, uh, that's okay. We can have slow, passionate sex. And, like, and I just hugged him while he thrust it into me to, like, make it feel better. <laughs> Because I was like, okay, like, all sorry. right, so you're a pussy, okay. Well, like, he was like really funny too. Like, he was so like hygienic that like he wanted to fuck in the shower more than anywhere. And I was like, what are we doing here, dude? Like, he was like six four, which is like a little too tall for me to like do shower sex. <clears throat> like six two and under, it like works really well. But oh, anything so you'd be, like on your tippy toes, and it's like fucking horrible. Yeah, and I I film every interaction anytime I have sex. I haven't had sex off camera in like four years. Wow. Any dude that off I sex cam- off camera sex is so good nowadays. It's like 
It's like four in. Yeah, but like I have my cameras in my house, so like they just sign the paperwork and then yeah, post so it. Yeah, so it feels like she's oh, okay. not even filming it. Yeah, and oh, I also that's... have magnetic mounts where I just you see the magnets on my phone. I just stick it to my wall, so <laughs> the Jeez. dudes can watch too. You are fucking crazy. That's I brilliant. love it though. It's really fun. That's brilliant. I had actually. this welder I was fucking for a while, and he would literally finish. He was still in school for welding too. He'd finish at his job site. He'd have two hours between that and school, and he'd come over to my house, fuck me, while I was working, like in between just doing computer work. Fuck me. My friend would be over because she, like, helps me with certain projects. And then she'd be like, all right, have fun, you two. And we'd fuck. And then he'd, like, we 69 and everything, like, after work. Like, I did not give a fuck. Like, he was so good in bed. We also fucked in my car one time. And I got rug burn. Like, rug burn. In the car? <laughs> and I threw my back out <laughs> to oh carry me into God. my house. <laughs> Cause I've we done just, that. Threw yeah. my back out fucking. And my mom had to come to my house and, like, take me to the doctor. <laughs> That is fucking crazy. But, like, he was someone I was comfortable with, but he also, like, took the little model release pictures and signed the paperwork, so I felt like it was fun because I could still do what I wanted, but I also had it on footage, you know? Mm-hmm. You are fucking <clears throat> crazy. I like making money. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, <laughs> I appreciate you uh, so much for coming today. This yeah. has been awesome. I'm really glad I got to finally meet you. Same here. Like I said, I was yeah, freaking was out. Time. Now I'm just turned on as fuck listening <laughs> to you talk. <laughs> Um, I hope to uh, literally go to one of your fucking parties here soon, just so I can Hell watch yeah. this crazy shit. It was bring nice. both of them. Just like <laughs> I've had to adjust my fucking crotch, and I got them looking at the camera, and <laughs> I've touched myself like twice now. <laughs> I'm glad we got to do this though. Yeah, you this guys. was a good time. Yeah, this was awesome. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the post notifications on. Turn the post notifications on. Oh. I'm getting yelled at again. Sydney, where can we find you? (laughs) You can find me by looking up Fit Sydney on Google. All my socials are there. And my OnlyFans is onlyfans.com slash fitsid. Peace out. Thanks, guys.